In this video, we're going to look at setting up to sell your product using Payspree. Now, I'm not going to walk you through the entire site and how to use it. I'm just going to show you the basics for how you set it up with your package. So if you've got your actual sales page that you've uploaded to the internet, right now this button, if you hover over it, it doesn't do anything. If you watch the PayPal setup video, you'll see that we changed this price, our name, and this button to work with PayPal. In this video, we're actually going to do this now using Payspree. So first of all, we're going to go to Payspree and we want to log in. So I'm going to go ahead now and log in here. And we've got products under Payspree, so we want to choose regular. So we're actually going to sell a regular product. You can have a monthly recurring or a dime sell. I just want to have a regular. So we choose add regular product. And now it's asking us for the information. So the title, description, price, sales page, thank you page, commission if it's applicable, what we're paying, the category and the subcategory, showing the marketplace, yes or no, and then there's advanced options. So let's go through filling this out. Okay, so we've gone through setting up title, description, $10 we're selling it for. Our sales page is at the ETB folder. The download, if you remember, we called it dl.html. We've got the address here where the thank you page is, the affiliate commission, the category, and we're going to choose to show it in the marketplace. Now, it only show up once we've had at least one sale. There is a couple of things you can do to make this more secure. You can choose advanced options, and you can use secure page, and you can go through this process of creating a secure URL and adding in the autoresponder email, and then that will subscribe them to the autoresponder, and Payspree will create the secure download link that will be valid for the amount of time you specify. If you're happy just to forward them, in this case, that's what I'm going to do. And the other way you can do a little bit of protection is if you want to, you could go into the file and the DL, you could completely change this name, and just rename it, and you give it an obscure name, like some characters and letters that you wouldn't even know. And then all you do is highlight those, right click, copy, and then you change the link here. So it's not one that someone would actually pick up on very easily. So it's entirely up to you how you do the delivery process. But once you've filled it out, you choose save product. Please feel free to add another one to get your order links to place on your website, close this window and refresh the page. So we close, we refresh. And you can see there, we've got our product. We can show get links. Get your order link codes below. The plain link is here. We can right click, we can copy. If we wanted to, we could use their graphical buttons on our site. If we just copy these, it's entirely up to you. We're gonna keep our one. So the way we do this now is we go into our editing software. So this is our editing software and we want to find the page. Here we have the page, the sales page, we've opened it. I'm using Dreamweaver, but you can use your favorite editor. And when we find the page, in my case, I've got a thing that says link here. I just right click and I paste. Now, if you get like a little blue border coming out and you don't want it to have a blue border on the page, where you click on the link, it says border, just put zero and it gets rid of that border. Now, the way the code looks is where we had our image button in the page here, all it's done is put in these two bits here. Open square bracket A space href equals then that web address that Payspree gave us, close quotes, close bracket, square bracket. Then we've got the image that we had in there. And then after that, open square bracket, slash A, close square bracket. That's it. And then the, what that does is it produces this, this button on here on our page. All we then do is we file and we save. And we upload this to the internet. So we go in. Let's refresh. Let's take our payment page and upload it. Let go. Go to our website. Let's close this now. Let's look at our page. This is our page where we had the delivery page. I just want to go back to the sales page for you. So we go back to the sales page. And if we scroll down now, when we hover over here, if you come down to the left-hand side of your screen, when I hover over, you'll see we have a Payspree link. If I click it, we should now get taken to Payspree. Now, because I set my payment processor up to be alert pay, 
it's actually taken them to alert pay but if you've chosen your account to be default to PayPal it would have taken this person to PayPal so it depends on how you set this up as to where the person would get diver diverted to when they click the link and you can always edit this if you want to if you want to come back and play around with doing the secure download with the autoresponder you could come in and change those settings it's entirely up to you and that's it you're ready you're set up and then the person will because we set the download link to that page they'll be forward once they've paid to our delivery page and then they'd then be ready to actually start using the product.